a not-for-profit client of mine, has a program that helps children who have physical disabilities. Let's just leave it at that. Two kids, twins, boy and a girl, born two decades ago with dizzying array of physical disabilities. You know, me doing my research, talking to mom, mom tells me how the doctors said that the son wasn't even going to live six hours after he was born, that they were getting him out of the way oh. when she gave birth because the daughter had a better chance of living, spent all their lives overcoming physical disabilities with the help of this not-for-profit client of mine. They graduated high school and they're going to college. The boy who had lung problems his entire life is a performer and an opera singer. The oh, girl wow. who was told she would never develop muscularly and would probably spend her life in a wheelchair is going to college on a lacrosse scholarship. Oh, wow. Right? Great, great, great story. You know who the focus of this story is? Not the not-for-profit client, mom and the two kids. Yeah. Those are the stories I love. And those are the stories that need to get told because those are the stories that are really important to our communities. Those are the stories that people need to see and go, wow, I can do it too. Or my life isn't as bad as that life. What's my excuse? I can go make my community better. And to me, that's the best PR that I yeah. can do is telling stories that inspire other people that sure, maybe help the client in their mission and what they do, but have a larger effect and really speak to an entire community and saying, look at all these people who live right next door to you. They're amazing. They're amazing people. Let the politicians sit down and let the people who are full of hot air sit down and shut up. <laughs>